The market of computer graphics software is full of options, making it rather confusing when it comes to picking up which tool is right for you. In this video, we will review and compare two of the most popular vector graphics software, Inkscape and Illustrator, hoping this will help you settle down on one of them. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics software, allowing you to create various forms of vector art, ranging from logos, illustrations, icons, and so on. It's supported by Windows, Mac, and Linux. In addition to producing high-quality graphics, since it deals mainly with SVGs as a default format, this program is very popular, especially since it doesn't require any financial investment, not to mention that it's very suitable for beginners. Nevertheless, it doesn't mean that it's dedicated to amateurs only, it's actually quite famous among professionals and veteran artists as well. Inkscape comes with a full set of features and options, making it an outstanding tool. It offers many export options such as EPS, PNG, PDF, SVG, and more. One good proof of how good Inkscape is will be definitely obvious in the huge community of active users, in addition to the regular updates and constant improvements. Illustrator is a vector graphics software from Adobe's Creative Cloud, and you can run it on Windows and Mac OS. It allows you to create almost anything from logos, charts, drawings to icons and illustrations. It's a very professional program while also being perfect for beginners and newbie graphic designers. It has pretty much the same interface that you have been familiar with using the rest of the Adobe suite. Although the massive number of tools can be a little overwhelming at first, the UI can be described as rather intuitive with a nice learning curve. The vector technology allows you to scale and resize your design without worrying about any quality loss. With Illustrator, you can sketch from scratch, import scanned drawings or import pre-designed graphics. Unlike Inkscape, Illustrator is not free. You can get access to it with the Creative Cloud subscription plan or as a single software. Industries that adopted the software Many designers around the world stated to actively use either one or both of Inkscape and Illustrator. Being both intended for vector graphics as a main purpose, you can describe them as multi-purpose programs used for multiple production ends. You can spot a few cases where one of them can be better than the other. For example, Inkscape works perfectly with small size projects, so if your project requires speed and simplicity over sophistication, then Inkscape is better for you. While when it comes to working with graphics that include typography, Illustrator can be much better. It has a pack of text features in addition to the possibility of Adobe Fonts integration, Furthermore, one thing that Inkscape has over Illustrator is the ability to create and edit SVGs directly from their source code. The Interface and Learning Curve Both Inkscape and Illustrator can somewhat be described as beginner-friendly, both having an intuitive interface that will make you feel at home, not to mention that it's highly customizable. You can rearrange panels and tabs the way you like. The tools have also quick access and keyboard shortcuts to make them even more accessible. The only thing that might result in kind of a steep learning curve at the beginning is the huge number of tools and features, which can be a little overwhelming at first. However, the web is overloaded with various types of learning material and resources, in addition to a wide and supportive community. Taking a closer look at the UI, Inkscape comes with a less crowded interface despite the fact that it's fully packed with awesome features, which makes it simpler and a lot more effective with less distractions. On the other hand, Illustrator is known to be an industry standard software for graphic design. Although it's intuitive as well, the tooling is a bit more crowded. However, this overwhelming nature can be easily decluttered. Since you can control all the panels and create your own comfy workspace. When it comes to the workflow, the interface plays a major role in making it smooth and quick based or making it clunky and complicated. Both software are highly flexible and easy to follow. However, 
Inkscape has a smoother workflow thanks to its decluttered UI. It's even an ideal tool for low-performance devices. It will provide you with a fluid process even if you have a device with poor capabilities. When it comes to Illustrator, however, it's heavily loaded with various functionalities that may cause the workflow to slow down a little. So again, if you have a low-performance device, that will make you consume a lot of RAM and CPU. With the rising potential of each new update of Illustrator, the workflow will eventually get slower. If you want to use it, make sure that you have a powerful device with the necessary system requirements that will keep up with the advanced toolset. The tools and features. The two programs are vector-based, so you can expect unique and amazing drawing tools. Illustrator provides you with a rich toolset, making it perfect for sketching and drawing. It has brushes for painting, shapes, pen tool, path tools, and more. The tooling is also very versatile. It allows you to draw using a graphic tablet very effectively, giving you a realistic and natural experience similar to classic paper drawing. On the other hand, Inkscape offers you the same variety of tools, ranging from the pencil with freehand drawing options, calligraphy, pen, stroke, shapes, fill bucket, and so on. It allows you to create curves and straight lines, giving you the possibility to tweak different parameters on your strokes. When it comes to coloring, the system supports multiple color modes with awesome color swatches and palettes. It also comes with predefined gradients, not to mention that you can create your own. Looking at things from Illustrator's angle now, it has even more tools to push your art and inspiration even further. It offers you a range of templates to start with, dedicated especially for beginners to help them get familiar with the concept at first approach. One of the coolest tools in Illustrator is the Artboard feature that allows you to create multiple artboards, helping you work on various projects within the same workspace. For example, you can work on the recto and the flip side of a business card, same time, same place. Other handy tools are grids, providing you with more precision when it comes to distance and perspective. Typography tools in Illustrator are much more advanced than Inkscape. It gives you full control over the text and its properties, allowing you to tweak parameters like width, height, color, weight, style, and more. And above all, it supports Adobe Fonts integration, having over 16,000 of them to choose from. Inkscape is equipped with tiled clones on canvas that you can fully edit. The node tool will turn out very handy when it comes to editing paths, in addition to the handles dedicated to gradient edition on canvas. Besides that, it supports RGB colors, boolean operations, bitmap tracing and color painting over projects. Not to mention that it has a complete anti-alias display. While Inkscape is still improving its features, Illustrator has gone ahead with most of them. As a final thought, Inkscape and Illustrator are fully complementary with one another, both having mobile versions as well, X Ink Plus and Illustrator Draw. When it comes to pricing, Inkscape is totally free and open source. You can download it from the official website No Questions Asked and you can even contribute at further developing its potential. When it comes to Illustrator, you can purchase it as part of the Adobe Creative Cloud for around $53 per month. You can also choose to have access to Illustrator only for around $21 per month. Not to mention that you can benefit from a free trial for one month. But if you're just starting out, Inkscape is a lot more suitable for you since it won't cost you anything. As a conclusion, both of these tools are versatile and could potentially unleash your creative mindset. In other words, your choice will be mainly guided by whether you would invest financial resources or not. It would also depend on your needs as a graphic artist, either looking for an industry standard software as a crucial requirement for your art, or looking for a powerful tool, regardless of its value from the standpoint of the market.